this is Nad from Snowdrop Online. So I'd like to share with you five tips for building your podcast. So the podcasting world is huge right now. More and more people are choosing to incorporate podcasts into their everyday lives. And most importantly, more and more businesses are finding value in placing ads with podcasts as opposed to traditional media. So tip number one, is your sound it's all about the sound sound is arguably the most important factor when people start listening to your podcast if the sound isn't right the probability of people listening is less people will just x out and just won't listen to your podcast so make sure you invest in good equipment and you test and you check your sound before you publish your podcast and secondly um be yourself. So choose a topic, talk about something that you're passionate about, a subject that comes, you know, um, easily to you, something that perhaps you talk about with your friends. It doesn't matter what it is, there's likely to be a tribe of other people that are passionate about the same thing. I mean, there are podcasts out there about intermittent, intermittent fasting, for example, fasted cardio, you know, different things. So choose a topic that you are passionate about. Thirdly, consistency. Uh, consistency is so important. So be consistent with when you publish your podcast. If you choose to um, put out your podcast on a weekly basis, be consistent with when you put it out. For example, if you choose to publish on a Tuesday at 5 p.m., try and be consistent with that because uh, listeners of podcasts, you know, generally, if they get into your podcast, they'll factor it into their as I say, in everyday life, so that they may be looking forward to listening to it whilst on their way home or you know on their commute to work, whatever the case is. So please do try and be consistent with your podcast. Fourthly, engagement. Try and engage with as many people. Um, you know, all the comments that you get, do try and respond to them. Social media mentions, do try and respond to those comments because um, the more you engage, the more people will know about your podcast. So do try and engage. And it also makes the audience invested in your podcast as well. And number five, um, regardless of what platform you choose to put your podcast in, do make sure that it is available on SoundCloud and Apple Music. Those are the two biggest podcast platforms. Um, more and more people, um, I mean, for example, Apple users, iPhone users, can easily download the Apple Podcast app and more people listen to podcasts that way. So if your uh, podcast is not available on Apple Podcasts, then that means that you're losing a huge chunk of people that may be interested in listening to your podcast, um, but just don't you know, have the time to go to SoundCloud or whatever the case is. So do try and make sure that your podcast is available on those two platforms. Um, I know I said five tips, a bonus tip as well is uh, with your podcast, uh, if you're sharing it on social media, do try and create a hashtag for your podcast. So then that way, um, more people can, if people tweet about your podcast, for example, you know, people can click on, on, on the hashtag and find out what it's about. So that's a good way of, again, building your platform. So these are just some of the tips, it's not exhaustive at all, um, but some of the tips that some people have found useful and I hope that this is useful to you as well. Um, there's an article on snowdroponline.com, the link is in the more information box, so do, do click on it and have a link and let me know what you think. Happy podcasting!